Facebook is building a massive solar-powered drone to provide Internet access to large rural areas. Tom's Guide Editor-in-Chief Mark Spoonar is here. Horizon Media Senior Vice President Brad Adgate as well. Thank you both. Happy sure. Friday. Yeah, you too. So Facebook, the solar drone, trying to reach the 10% of the world that is not already connected. I am assuming Mark Zuckerberg hopes that they become Facebook users, right? This is the point, or is this altruistic, Brad? Well, I, I think, first of all, it's only one drone. So, I mean, and the drone has a radius of about 31 miles or 50 kilometers. So It's not going to cover, cover the 10%. Yeah, yeah it's gonna, it's, he's going to need a lot more drones, and I don't know how much that's going to cost, and, and I don't know how much he's going to charge people. Is, is it going to be free Facebook? Because these people don't have a lot of money. Yeah, yeah to, to make the point, I mean, it is people in rural areas. I mean, yeah. there's no cable. Sometimes there's no electricity. So, yeah. so here, so. what I'm hearing is that what they're going to do with this drone is beam down the data via laser okay. to a base station that'll then be redistributed using local internet service providers. Yeah. So it's not that Facebook itself is giving you the internet. Yeah. They're acting as a conduit. They're kind of creating like a Wi-Fi network. And, yeah, and as something. far as cooperation, right, to the governments, because, I mean, we're talking a lot about sub-Saharan Africa. I mean, yeah. do the governments really care, honestly, if their people are connected? You know, that's a very good point. Some people don't even want this type of information. Or so, it depends really on the government. I mean, social media, obviously, it's become a big news feed, Facebook, and some of these regimes just may not want you know, information getting out. Because, yeah, some people have come out against yeah. the internet.org initiative overall because a lot of people are getting a closed internet experience. You might get Facebook, Wikipedia, and a couple other services, but not the internet at large. So some people say, well, but my opinion is that it's better to get some of the internet than nothing. Yeah. All right, some yeah. than nothing, <laughs> but it does bring up this policy issue, right? What do yeah. governments want for their people? And mm -hmm. in the case of France, yes. it wants Google to scrub this kind of <laughs> right to be forgotten and Google is saying, well, that's all well and good that that's what you want, French government. Yeah. We really don't care. So go ahead and try to do something about it. Well, yeah, I think this is, they're coming to loggerheads. And I think part of the argument is that, you know, particularly in France, if you go on Google.fr, Google is saying 97% of the people in France who search use that. And what the French uh, courts want Google to do is take it off all Google and, and Google's arguing, just saying, look, you know, there are different laws and restrictions around the world. And just because you don't like it doesn't mean other people in the world don't like it. But yeah, but Europe has been really prickly on that. I mean, I remember hearing yeah. the same kind of thing from Germany. France is not alone. Right. It seems, you know, this kind of digital footprints. Right. The governments are saying we actually don't want our citizens to be tracked. Well, I, I think for now, Google is dismissing it because until the laws change in other parts of the world, yeah. this is ridiculous. France does not have the right to do this, to basically dictate how Google does business in the rest of the world. But should fines come to pass that are bigger than what they've come up against so far, yeah. then they might be forced to really reconsider their position. If you put yourself in the, in the position of someone who wants to be not followed, they might have a right to say, take me off of Google France and, and elsewhere. But I really do think it, it, this is going to be controversial. You know, That's it, not going to go away. Yeah, but also, you know, they're just taking it off the search terms. They're not taking it off the Internet. You'll still right. be able to find it. You right. know? And, and I mean, and the EU has been known to be aggravated with large U.S. companies yes, anyway, as we yes, saw with Microsoft, Microsoft in that famous yeah, case in exactly. 2000. You yeah. don't think you have a monopoly, but you do. And essentially, that's what the EU is saying to Google in so many terms. A little lighter, but still on tech, Will I am uh, <laughs> is worried that we're all going to become much, much dumber, the smarter that the machines that we build become. Yeah, well, he's he's been saying this before. He said this at the World Economic Forum last January in Davos, and he's saying we're spending far too much money on robots than we are in educating human beings. And, and you know, there's been other you know, tech and science luminaries who have, you know, warned about artificial intelligence becoming too powerful. Right, Elon Musk, that, that big open letter that yeah. something like Elon Musk Stephen and 99 Hawking. other people, yes, 99 yeah. other people of no to sign. Right. But I like that he's pretty mm -hmm. confident that pop stars yes. are not going to be replaced <laughs> Because by he's one of them. But what's, right. what's ironic about this is that he's actually employed by Intel as an ambassador around technology. So the fact that he's coming out against AI yeah. and what it might portend, I think, is somewhat ironic. Uh, I, I think as someone who used Windows 10 this week and Cortana <laughs> and got a very simple question You're wrong. You're not even that worried, right? Yeah, we asked, you know, what's the president of the United States? And we got the president of the United Airlines. So right. I, I think he, well, he doesn't have to be worried. All right, just well, yet. you can tell President <laughs> Obama he has some job prospects yeah. in a year and a half. Thank you.